Okay, so let's take a look on how to test multicast on my Axis camera. I have a P1365 Mark II, and here is the image via web browser. And here on the menu, I come to System, Plain Config, and Network, okay? So here, basically, I'm using this menu, Network, here we go. And you need to look for multicast IP address, right? That'll be this one under R0. Here we go, video address. Okay, I'm not changing anything here. I'm just getting to this menu to make sure that I'm using the correct address. Okay, I'm just gonna copy to monitor. I'm not gonna change the IP address here. I'm not gonna use this uh, IP address on the test. I'm just using to monitor, right? So I basically I'm going to use um, Wireshark and VLC. Here's VLC. VLC is the client that's going to connect to the camera. So basically I'm going to send a command from VLC to the camera and Wireshark is going to see it and show me the results of the protocol that's using like UDP and uh, the IP address of the group that the Muchcast IP address, right? So I'll come here to filter before I start, select my interface. That's my Ethernet interface. And here I'm going to insert this filter. Okay. Let me just paste here. I copy there. Let me just paste here the Muchcast IP address. So basically I'm telling Wireshark to monitor for traffic coming to this IP address, that's the multicast IP address, okay? So I just click here, start, and wait for it. Nothing is happening right now, okay? It's like waiting for the packets. So here I come to media, open network stream, and here's the command that I'm going to use to test the multicast uh, streaming, right? So RTSP backslash backslash uh, the IP address of the camera backslash again, access dash media backslash SSM. Pretty important to use SSM. That's the method you're going to use to tell the camera to send multicast. Okay. Don't forget this part. It's pretty important. So, and then backslash media dot AMP question mark resolution equals 1280 by 720. Okay. So I click play enter the username and password. That'll be root here at password for test. Hit OK. And here we go. We bring the traffic and we can also see here on Wireshark uh, the source, that's the camera's IP to the destination. That's the multicast IP address that we have here on the camera. OK, so it's working now and the traffic is coming uh, from the camera to the computer using multicast. So basically that's the way it works.